tell us about the new Aquaman movie that's about to come out that will become the greatest thing ever to exist. <laughs> the new Aquaman movie. I don't know a lot about this movie except that it has Jason Momoa and Nicole Kidman in it. That's about really, and it's called something about going home. So I'm assuming that there is some kind of tension between where he is now and where he's from. So therefore, I extrapolate that maybe he's been on the surface of the earth some on dry land and that the ocean is calling him to come back home. I do know that Aquaman can be in or out of water. He can breathe underwater as well as breathe oxygen like we do. I know that he's the king of the sea. I, I believe that that's one of his titles. And so I would assume from that he is being called home to have some kind of rule over something as the king of the sea. I don't know who his enemies are. Probably some sea monster of some sort. Probably someone that looks like this dark man who also carries a big fork, also known as a trident. His is not as pretty as Aquaman. Aquaman's is gold. It's obviously better than the silver one by Dark Man, Dark Aquaman, Dark Sea Monster. Oh, that's right. Also, Aquaman can ride seahorses, which is pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool, but it also looks kind of silly. That's that's the only thing about the cartoon that I didn't like. It's like the old old cartoons of him. Those those seahorses look kind of lame. It's like a grown king is riding a seahorse, really. One of the smallest creatures in the ocean. No, he should have been riding a shark. So, Aquaman and his mother, who I think is Nicole Kidman, is the mother. And her name is Atlanta. Or maybe it's Pacifica. No, I think it is Atlanta. Because they are from Atlantis. I always thought her name was Aquafina. But, or Aquanetta, which would be appropriate being from the sea. Aquanetta would make sense. But, and then his girlfriend is Myrna. I think. <laughs> no. Oh, I am now be handing a cheat sheet. Alara? <laughs> Alara? Really? Mara! Oh, like the sea. <laughs> that is one of the words for sea in French, is close to Mara. See, teacher mom here. I may not know everything, but I know a little bit about everything. Aquaman has been around for a long time, somewhere between 60 and 70 years, I believe. Um, he is a DC character. And so, he's also part of the Justice League. <laughs> you didn't think I was listening, did you? This is kind of to bring forward his character, who has sometimes been the source of amusement for other uh, fans of other DC characters, as well as Marvel, I'm assuming, that he did wasn't big and powerful and had supernatural powers. But I say anybody that can live under the sea and on the earth with equal authority has pretty good superpowers and that he can talk to fish and command the ocean and fish and so I, th I think that's a pretty good character and I like the fact that you can find baby Aquaman, cartoony Aquaman, hunky Aquaman, and old man Aquaman. Oh and hippie Aquaman. <laughs> I just like that he has a lot of different characters. You don't see that in Batman. You see pouty Batman and you see pouty Batman. But you did not see this kind of wide variety, which I kind of like. And he's also lovable, Aquaman. So I like the idea that Aquaman has a lot of different 
ideas of who he is, but I certainly like Jason Momoa. That is what's caught my interest, is that that beautiful tattooed man comes rising out of the water. Looks pretty good. Superman tried to do that in this one of the last movies, come out of the water and look all hot and bothered. But when Aquaman does it, he's in his element, so he knows how to do it right. I don't know what about going home is so, uh, the full story of this current movie, but I'm assuming that he will be powerful and that the ocean will be glad to welcome him home. But I like the special effects that's in the trailer. It looks very exciting, very powerful, very beautiful, like you're going to be swallowed up in the movie, surrounded by water and special effects. It looks very interesting. I'm looking forward to this movie, maybe more than any of the other superhero movies, because I know less about Aquaman than I know about Batman and Superman. I'm excited to see Aquaman and see how they make him look more powerful than just a cartoon figure that swims around on seahorses. So, peace out. Any questions? <laughs> Do you remember uh, Rocky IV, the big Russian guy who was in that? Yeah. He's in, he's in this movie. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, that should be interesting. That's in it. Having Russians in with Aquaman will be very interesting. But he wasn't really Russian. He just had a Russian accent. No, he's a, he's a Russian dude. Oh, um, okay. Dolph, yeah. Dolph Lundgren. Does he play a Dolphin? <laughs> Gosh, I wish that was the case. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Dolph, Dolph Lundgren the Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphin Lundgren. Dolph the Dolphin. I, what else could he play in an Aquaman movie? <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, dang it. Oh, I wish that was real. <laughs> Yeah, what a, is this guy's name? That's uh, that's Black Manta. Black, Black Panther. Know? Well, yeah, he's a Black Panther. Black Manta. Have a war. <laughs>